good blessed it Saturday afternoon, um, April the 16th, 2022. It's about 1.37 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you are the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're from my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. Doesn't matter whether you're black, white, Asian, Mexican, Puerto Rican, or any other nationality or race, light-skinned or dark-skinned. Whether you like me or anything that I produce on social internet, you have a right to like, dislike, you have a right to speak up, and you have a right to, to stay silent if that's what you so choose. It's your prerogative. I come today again, continuing the endeavor, continuing the fight for justice for my son, Brian Lamont Johns. If you Google the death of Brian, the hanging, the lynching, the death of Brian Lamont Johns on Friday, uh, March the 19th, 2021 in Carbondale, Illinois, found in a hallway of the Gaslight Apartments. That's G-A-S-L-I-T-E. Apartments in the 400 block of North Oakland, some of his belongings found in the 400 block west of uh, Sycamore. His wallet found uh, in about the 900 block of West Sycamore. A white school teacher from Carbondale, Illinois, Rebound uh, High School. A parent educator uh, in the 200 block north of uh, Oakland Street, two, two blocks Away uh, south of where my son's body was found, she had his food stamp card spinning it 39 days after his death. The Spanish prosecuting attorney of Jackson County has yet to call me or tell me that he's prosecuting, even didn't even arrest her or her husband. They not only had my son's food stamp card, but they admitted the husband, the black husband, that's a called himself a Muslim. He, he tied with Linda Flowers, the uh, NAACP president in uh, Carbondale, Illinois. He tied with the sergeant, a guy Draper, who I believe have something to do with my son's death, him and some of the police in the Carbondale Police Department. Uh, he tied to the Center for Empowerment and Justice in Carbondale, Illinois. He tied even with the newly elected uh, prosecuting attorney. He told me, he asked me that I want the uh, prosecuting attorney's cell phone number to see if he would get involved. Most people involved with a death, sometimes they be right in the midst. But I'm not going to name them names right now. But I just want to just say that's one of the things I come here for. Another thing I want y'all to get a, a good look at this individual here. Uh, Derek Johnson. This Derek is spelled D-E-R-R-I-C-K. Common spelling of Johnson. Me and my 15-year-old daughter had, I'm not going to even say, the pleasure of meeting him on April the 11th, uh, 2022 on a Monday in Carbondale, Illinois, at the Southern Illinois University, uh, the student uh, center in the ballroom. He was a keynote speaker. One of his female ex-classmates from uh, a college in Houston, Texas, uh, invited him there. I wonder how much money did they pay him. Uh, when I did a little research about 10 years or so ago, maybe a little less, 
uh, the president of the NAACP national chapter, they was getting to like about 200 and some thousand dollars. I believe it's way much more than that, probably 300,000 just to be in the president himself. But you know, when they have you to go on speaking and speaking engagement, you probably get more. This guy here, he wasn't concerned about this big old book here that I have right here in front of me. Uh, you see what it is? The Carbondale Police Department. And you see what it is? Brian L. Johns. That's Brian Lamont Johns' death investigation. You see how thick that is? It's over a thousand pages. And I can just tell you some of the things in here that I know that's a lie. They said in this here investigation, it's supposed to be a death investigation. Now, they had a death investigation for a dog that was poisoned, I, be, I believe, by means of antifreeze or strangled to death a white person's dog. Another, a white person killed the dog and it was on Facebook. Now, listen to this real carefully. All you got to do is Google it up. Reward uh, offered by the Carbondale Police Department uh, to get information for the arrest of the person who killed a dog. This was around the time that they were supposedly doing the death investigation for my son last year in 2021. But they got the reward out. They had it in the newspaper. The news had it. And, and, and uh, I believe the Egyptian from the South East, uh, Southern Illinois University. See, the Southern Illinois University, NAACP Police Department, the uh, 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 the uh, Power of uh, the Center for the Empowerment of Justice, most of all of them women groups in Carbondale, Illinois, most of all the groups, period, Muslim and Christians, uh, all of them is tied with Southern Illinois. Look at the money that the city of uh, Carbondale gave Southern Illinois University uh, concerning uh, the uh, protection in, in, uh, of, the, of the city or the students or dealing with the violence. But anyway, what I want y'all to take a real good look, try to see if you can find Brian Lamont Johns uh, hanging in Carbondale, Illinois on Friday, um, uh, March the 19th, 2021. Then Google up uh, a man arrested and a reward was put out for him for killing a dog. Now the newspapers, Southern Illinois newspapers, the Egyptian, uh, the uh, Southern Illinois a uh, 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 college, SIU college newspaper, the Egyptian, the Southern in, in, uh, in Carbondale, Illinois, WSLIL, uh, WSIL, Channel 3 News, and other people, they had it on the news about the man killing a dog, but they didn't have it on my, about my son. But this man here, he don't care. He don't care at all. He told me I need to get an attorney. If I could afford an attorney, I wouldn't put be putting a five hundred dollar reward out when I can barely uh, 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 afford. But he told me it's best it, it's for me to get an attorney that the NAACP don't do that. But I they don't they don't get involved with that there. But let me show you something that I read concerning the NAACP. It said. Uh, I'm, I'm not, let's go back to these brothers here because this brother, I don't look at him in the being in the category of these brothers here. The doctor, late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. May he rest in peace. Brother Malcolm X, L. Hodge Malik, L. Sebaz, and, and brother Nelson Mandela. These are some good brothers. I put them in the, in the mindset of a thoroughgood marshal. I put I put them in the uh, uh, the mind of Harold Washington, the former mayor of Chicago. They wasn't sellouts. Thurgood Marshall wasn't a sellout. I look at uh, Katanji 
Brown, uh, Jackson, uh, uh, J uh, Katanji Brown Jackson. I look at her as a real person that's fighting for justice for all. Look at her history. She didn't sell out like this, this individual here. She rem he reminded me when I was asking him questions after I asked him a question about my son and his answer and I left, they said he, he cut off, they cut off other people's to speak. And some of the speak people has my address. Before I addressed this man here at Southern Illinois, I seen deans, I seen attorneys. You see what I'm saying? I, I seen uh, the chancellors. I gave all of them one of these here, and on the back of it, it had it, it had my my email and my phone number and my full name. Not none of them in contact. Not, not now one of them called me. But I give it to two students that was at that meeting on April the 11th from Carbondale. Two students followed me out and gave me their information. And they was concerned about what I was saying about my son, Death, is being hush-hush. They was concerned. Now, let me let me just say this here. Let me let me read you something what it, it, it says here. It say uh, uh, the uh, NAAC. It said we have more than two thousand. I mean, twenty two hundred units or branches across the nation, powered by well over two million activists. This is NAACP people, y'all, in our cities, schools companies and courtrooms we are the <clears throat> the legacy of web du bois ida b or B bell wells thurgood marshall uh mary white overton and many others but let me go go on to read this here it's a like we with more than 2 million members in 112 years of, uh, of experience, we work to make sure, listen to this here, we work to make sure black voices are heard. Let me read that again. We make sure uh, that black voices is heard. Uh, demands are met and black excellence is amplified. Now, my son's been dead over 13 months. His voice ain't being heard by none of them. Oh, you, you got over 2 million. It's only one black NAACP member that has been working with me and my daughters and them, and he from Carbondale, He's a former SIU student, and he's been involved since my son's death, openly uh, sending emails to the national chapter, to the police department, uh, going to the prosecuting attorney's office. But what about them other millions of, 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 of uh, members? of the NAACP, me and my daughters, 15 and 16 year old, we're members. We can't even get a letter from none of them. But this man here, he thought it be fit and appropriate to send a letter to Cook County, uh, Illinois, uh, in the Chicago area, to the judge that was finna sentence uh, Jesse Smolak for falsely saying somebody beat him up and put a loops around his neck uh, trying to hang him. But he sent the letter for this man. But he told me I need to get a lawyer. But when you look at this here, uh, the SIU student and other people that ask me how can they help, help us get some independent uh, investigative journalists. I know y'all have some at SIU. 
If y'all can get him down there and see the way he treat black folks, y'all should be able to get some down here. A black man was hung. Y'all know what Ida B. Wells, one of her biggest missions was? Her biggest mission was an investigative journalist uh, investigating the, li the lynching of black men. If she was alive, that's what she would be doing. If Thurgood Marshall was alive, if any one of these brothers alive, if Dr. Martin Luther King can go down to Memphis and protest for the garbage workers, I know he'd have protested for Brian Lamont Johns. Brian Lamont Johns' brothers, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all should be ashamed, man. I would be ashamed to say that I was Brian's brother. And I know y'all listening at it, and if y'all don't like it, I don't even care. Brian friends, you see what I'm saying? Those y'all that was in, the, in, in, in association with Brian, I would be ashamed to say I'm his friend. You can't take time to come down to Carbondale. You can't take time in Chicago, Wisconsin, and the other places that y'all let to make a protest like I've been doing. Is y'all waiting for a lawsuit so y'all can get in? But back to this man here in this corrupted police department, the corrupted uh, NAACP chapters. But if y'all want to help, help us get some independent investigators to look at this file because I'm going to show y'all some of it. My son was found with his one of his right hand balled up, arm in a 45 degree angle. If anybody know about Rick and Mortis, Rick and Mortis when it's set in, you see what I'm saying? You ain't going to be hung and then your hand just raise up in a 45 degree, degree angle. You're in the hallway on the railing. And then just ball up with money ball, paper money balled up in your hand. In the, in the corner, prize hand open and take the money out. But there's nowhere in this report that that $3 that was balled up in his hand with blood on it. And nowhere in here that it came out of his hand. They ain't put it in there. And, a, and, a, and another thing is, they got in here that Brian said that one of his aunties, committed suicide. Brian had uh, two aunties on his mother's side. They deceased, may they rest in peace. Neither one of them committed suicide. Brian had five aunties on my side. Now it's only four, one passed. May she rest in peace. She didn't commit suicide. They said, Brian said that he was with me around eight or nine years old and he seen me kill somebody. Now, if, they, if he told them that, you would think the police, the FBI, would be investigating because ain't no statute of limitation on no murder. And they would, if they did investigate it, they would see that me, uh, Brian was staying with his mother. I was working on the ambulance when Brian was about that age. We was living in different areas. And I guess I must have had him on the Amalans with me and then went and killed somebody and then took him back home or wherever he was supposed to be. It's a few things. It's a lot of things in here. They went to the penitentiary to look for something for suicide, but they wouldn't talk to the people in the streets. They wouldn't even put it in the newspaper so the public can help out. But they put it in the newspaper about that white man killing that white person's dog. My son's life was less than a person dog. I don't care if they black or white. But if y'all want to help, help us get another pathologist. Help us get uh, some uh, uh, attorneys that would work with us pro bono. I'm willing to bet if they look at this, look at the Illinois State Police's report. They closed this to Carbondale, Illinois Police Department in the uh, Jackson County corner. They closed my son case and ruled it suicide. The, the uh, corner did the same thing and ruled it suicide before the uh, Illinois State Police report was back. When the Illinois State Police report came back, it said the knots that my son was that on the rope that my son on the belt my son was hung with it had three characters on it one of them was my son two of them un, uh, unknown 
meaning somebody else was touching it. The rivets, the same thing. We need help, y'all. We can't get it from Johnson. There's two million of y'all NAACP. Where in the hell is y'all at? Peace be still.